You've been representing R. Kelly for about a year. You say you spoke to him this morning. What was his reaction to that docuseries? Well, I, he didn't watch the series. The series is trash TV. There's no reason to watch the series. It's a bunch of disgruntled people who are looking for their 15 minutes of TMZ fame. So how would you characterize the allegations from multiple women, some who say they were involved with R. Kelly for years, uh, and describe abuse sexually, emotionally, physical abuse? What do you make of those allegations? Well, well let's... Let, let's look at the allegations. Let's break them down. These were women who claimed that they were being essentially held hostage. When they were no longer hostage, no one ever reported anything. During the time they were supposedly being held hostage, no one ever reported anything. They were out in public. No one ever reported anything. Since then, no one has said that they had to seek any kind of special psychological counseling or otherwise. So the allegations are just a bunch of people who are on the bandwagon. They were living a rock and roll life. They were living with a famous person. And when they weren't anymore, now they're disgruntled and they're trying to get back in the limelight. So there's, do you, there's just no merit to it. If you Do you believe all of these yeah, women are, are lying? I mean, in this era of, of Me Too, we now know that a lot of people have not come forward about sexual assault or sexual misconduct allegations for years. Um, do you do you really believe that all of these women are looking for their 15 minutes of fame, as you put it? I believe that all of these women did exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to be with Mr. Kelly. They were with Mr. Kelly. They were perfectly happy. They were perfectly consensual relationships. Whatever occurred, I'm not someone who should be judging, nor should any of us be judging someone else's personal relationship, what goes on in their bedroom. And uh, now they're coming forward. I don't think that because it's the Me Too era, we should give any more credibility to these allegations. People have been making things up. People have been exaggerating. People have been making false accusations since the beginning of time. And because there's now some hashtag, that's not going to change. Have you had any contact with the district attorney's offices that are looking into alleged victims who say they've been sexually abused or physically abused by R. Kelly? Well, I haven't heard from anyone. I haven't heard from a police department. I haven't heard from a prosecutor's office. I have never heard from an attorney for a victim or an alleged victim. I haven't heard from anyone because there's no facts to back up these claims. What has R. Kelly's reaction been to this docuseries, which you say he hasn't seen, but he's obviously heard about it? His reaction is that he's disappointed that these women are doing this, that these families are doing it. They're ruining a, a talented musician's career. Uh, you know, when people wanted to be with R. Kelly, look at Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga in 2011, perfectly happy to sing a song with R. Kelly, perfectly happy to interact with him, and all of a sudden now she wants an Academy Award. And the, the uh, du jour of the day is to diss R. Kelly, so now, now all of a sudden he's some terrible person. Nothing has changed. R. Kelly has been the same person all along. Are you encouraging him to continue to book shows and sort of live his life as if none of this is, is happening? I guess, what, what advice are you giving him well, right what's now? He, what's he supposed to... Well, well, I mean, I'm a criminal defense lawyer, and I have the greatest client in the world because I have a client who hasn't committed any crime. So I don't have a lot of work to do as a criminal defense lawyer. He should live his life. He shouldn't go let these people ruin his life. They're ruining his career already. Go live his life. Go enjoy himself. This week is his birthday. Celebrate his birthday and do what he's been doing for the past 30 years, which is living his life, playing his music, writing music, doing shows, going out, and nothing illegal. What does R. Kelly want people to know who believe the women and even as you mentioned Lady Gaga, artists who are now distancing themselves from him because of this sort of reemergence. You know, this isn't the first time that he's been accused of sexual misconduct allegations. But what do you think R. Kelly wants people to know who do believe those women? I think what he wants them to do is look at the facts. And where are the facts? Where is a single piece of evidence? All of us should want to know where is the evidence other than someone saying something. 
Where is any evidence? There isn't any because he didn't do anything wrong. And that's what's so disappointing. Just so I'm clear, did you watch all six hours of this docuseries? I didn't watch one minute of it. I, I, I don't watch that kind of trash. So you didn't see any of this, but you're convinced that all of these women are out here trying to get 15 minutes of fame and that they're not telling the truth. Is that I, what you're saying? I have seen snippets of it. No, I've seen snippets of it. Okay. I've seen some of the interviews on it. I, I know who's behind it. I know the uh, producer, you know, the producer never reached out to us and tried to get our take on things. Well, throughout the docu-series, uh, the, there the, were uh, flashes of the fact that R. Kelly did not want to comment, that he denies ever having any non-consensual sexual relations with women. So, and that, that happened many times throughout it. So, so let me ask you But you're saying they you, never reached out question. to you? Are you saying someone, Dream someone Hampton and those producers never ne reached out to you? I never heard from them. That is correct. But if R. Kelly is saying, I never had non-consensual sex with any of these women, how is he supposed to prove that that's true? It's his word against their word. Is he right? planning to talk now, or address the public believing, himself? Why are you believing them? Why are you believing them? Why don't you believe him? There's absolutely no evidence what they're saying is true. There's no evidence. Yet you're expecting him to produce evidence? The evidence is that no one went to the police, that no one sought any counseling, that no one came forward until these producers sought them out. Is R. Kelly planning on giving any sort of news conference or addressing the public himself anytime soon? Has he thought about that? Uh, Hopefully he will. Do you think he plans to address I mean, the I public he, soon? He, 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 I, I'm sure he will. If nothing else, I'm sure he'll write a song. And it'll be a big hit.